I've been forced here against my will. No. I've been forced to live here against my will. Bro, desk cap. <laughs> this is our dream apartment, bro. Ashley and I just moved in together like four days ago. Period. But clearly we've been having a bit of a hard time unpacking. And we're only unpacked one box, barely. Let me explain. As soon as I moved here, I got sick. So this was the vibe that I was on for the first four days and I swear to you, maybe I am a bit of a baby, but also the will to live was not there. <laughs> so the amount of stuff that is here is actually insane. Horror in my mind is unfathomable. Today, Ashley has a bunch of events and meetings that she has to go to on her own. So I'm gonna be staying home and I'm gonna try and do as much work as I can today to hopefully turn our apartment around. She got the kitchen on lock. I'm gonna try and bust down that kitchen. Bust down. Bust down Tatiana. Bust down. <laughs> I'm on my Tatiana vibe. Right now. <laughs> our last vlog was kind of like our cutesy fun moving into our cute apartment together vibes But this one's gonna be like our apartment is a dumpster. So you're about to see me go to work work w-e-r-k work. work This might be the worst ever, but gotta put the work why, in. Why is it gonna be the worst ever? Because my shower is so grimy because boys used to live here and they didn't really clean it And so I'm actually horrified. That's well, the first thing I'm gonna do today, but like I already did my shower. Good luck to you Oh, let's absolutely do this. Okay. Ashley just left. I went for a little run to get some white vinegar for cleaning and I got some food from a halal truck pre-cleaning mukbang Delicious. I got falafel over rice except they like chop it up, which is kind of interesting Mmm. I think our first step is gonna be cleaning my bathroom because that's the thing that's like freaking me out the most I'm kind of like a germaphobe with like bathroom stuff like I will never use public bathrooms I don't like touching doorknobs and moving into like a kind of grimy bathroom is freaking me out I just want to be at the apartment like cleaning and organizing I'll be at the apartment cleaning and organizing. Hilarious. I didn't think it was going to be that disastrous. Oh my god. Yeah. I will do as much as I can right now. Good lord. Golden hour glow and the apartment is so real. Look at this beautiful. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. I have not taken a shower in this bathroom yet because I'm scared of how dirty it is. They like left weird little things. The grout is like really dirty. I don't know. I just know that boys were living here and I don't trust a boy bathroom. I got this little steam jet thing that'll help me clean really deeply. Oh, oh my God, I'm just spilling it. I'm so stupid. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. This is the sink. My toilet literally has like boy poop stains in it. Let's do this ish. Barkeeper's friend. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, thank god. It's my own hair on the counter. I thought it was like a roach antenna. I almost just passed out actually. Let's do this. I don't know if you can really see, but the title is just kind of gross. Playing in the bubbles. <laughs> How does this work? What the? F Literally, I give up. Why did the Why did the shower turn on in my head? So much gross stuff in here. Ew! It's like brown. Somebody poop in the shower? Oh my god! I go like this, and like a ton of black stuff comes out. Ew! So nasty, so nasty, I hate it, I hate it. What the literal F is in this shower? Oh my god, there's like chunks of like black stuff. Oh my god. I'm gonna say that I'm done with my bathroom for today because I didn't buy like a toilet cleaner thing yet and I did the shower in the sink. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Now it's time to tackle the kitchen. Ah! Ash is gonna be home in an hour, so. Did I fail my task of getting a lot done today? Yes, but that does not mean I should give up now. Now is where I put it into high gear. So many of these boxes in the kitchen are just old food. So I feel like we don't need to keep a lot of this for the new apartment. So I'm gonna go and see what's expired or not. Expired. Expired. Ex oh, no, it's okay. Period. Expired. In this one box, here's everything that was expired and here's everything that wasn't. We don't even need all this stuff. I think if there's any time where me and Ash are really gonna struggle as roommates, it's probably right now because like even just unpacking, I'm like, why? 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 It's fine. Oh, and there's the vinegar that I was looking for. For the rest of the night, I think I'm just gonna try and like organize the current mess. Uh, I think I just gotta put it back. 
No. Throw away the bug? I don't know what to do. But it's, no. it's like this big. No, 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 no. Throw the trap away or throw the... Oh my god. Put the trap back in. No. Wait, how should I start filming? <laughs> um... Don't put that on the video, bro. No. It's gross. But that was like when I moved in, I was like, this is the dream. There's no roaches well, yeah, here. Yeah, so don't. So it's not a house roach. Then what is it? It's in my house. It's like that big. I know. It's been caught. It's it's on the trap. I don't know what to do. Don't freak out. I should have just taken it and thrown it away. Just an update. It's a couple days later. My mother is here to save us with unpacking. But my mom just told me that behind my toilet in my bathroom, there's a bug trap with a gigantic roach caught in it. And this is literally my worst nightmare. Cause if you followed me through my college videos, my whole last year, I lived in a roach infested house and it like drove me to insanity. And then moving to New York, I was like, this apartment is beautiful. There's no way bugs could get up here. We're so high up. And then my mom was like, the roach is this big. Well, they come up through like the sink. Don't, uh, mom, no. I need to call Ashley. Why couldn't they be in Ashley's bathroom? I'm just kidding, knock on wood. I don't want them anywhere. I don't want them anywhere. Moving on. It's fine. I'm gonna call Ashley to tell it's her. Not a big hey thing. Ashley, uh, Ashley, we have a situation. Yeah. Could you guess what's happening? No. Could you guess what would make me freak out so bad? There's a cockroach. Yeah. Where? No. It's dead behind my toilet in a bug trap, which means that there was like a reason for them to put a trap there to catch bugs. I need ones in there. I'll pull it out. We'll get another bug trap and see if we can catch more. Mm -hmm. It's okay. In apartments, they all kind of come through the walls, so don't leave foods out. Well, I'm living with Ashley, so good luck to me. The rent is simply too high for me to be getting roaches again. <sighs> don't even. Yeah, but did you see it yet? No, I'm never looking at it. What if I scream? What if I scream? No, no, no. I'll see it. I'll see it. Mom, I need to know. No. I yeah, you need to know, actually. No, it's big. Can you just show me? Legs are so long like this. Drop it! Stop it! Ew, I almost like <laughs> dropped the camera from like literally trembling and throwing up. Okay, well at least now we both have the same fear. Don't think about it. Bugs are everywhere. It's just part of life. Okay, I'll give you guys an apartment update. This is our living room so far. We're slowly making our way through all the boxes, finding lots of friends along the way. My room looks freaking crazy. Still need to move all of Ashley's boxes out. I need to organize all my dirty stuff. And somehow one day this will be my room. I don't know how. It does not seem like it right now. It's just being used as storage. So I can't even imagine the day that this will be like my bedroom. It's so gloomy today. It's crazy. I texted my old college roommates where I lived in a roach infested house. We called it bug house. And I said, I just found a roach in my new apartment. I like that. And then my friend Laura said bug house, the big city. <laughs> and so that's big pretty, yeah, yeah, big city edition of bug house. Next thing on the to-do list, I got these little key holders. Look at the little guy. And when you take it off, it goes away. some food from Yiji Shimo, which is a rice rolls place in Chinatown. Yiji Shimo. Yiji Shimo. Me and Ashley got cilantro and scallion, curry fish balls, and then a shrimp. It's like just really thin little rice rolls. They're so soft and delicious. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I like that. That rice cake is really good. Mm -hmm. Super thin layers of rice rolls. So yummy. <laughs> I got this from Amazon and of course I had to get a little bunnies one. Kind of like a poorly translated English, I think. Enjoy your life. This is a great place. It is clean, pure, and fragrant. <laughs> Which is like so random, but I like it. It is clean, pure, and fragrant. Now we have to tackle all of this. Our 
mom just got on the train to go home. So me and Ashley are on our own now. And we ordered some Thai food from Landlarm Chiang Mai, of course. Ashley's favorite. The best Thai food in the game. Amber Dude. loves Tom Ka. It's like coconut lime soup. Mm. We also got some Patsy Yu. We got Masamon curry and Penang curry. Whoa, pumpkin Wait. spice latte. Whoa, that is like a pumpkin spice yeah, latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Whoa. The Masamon curry I never had. Wow, okay. I actually don't know if I can eat that. Period. <laughs> Penang curry. <laughs> Best thing on their menu. So far, living together has been fire. Mm hmm I still kind of feel like I'm just visiting Ashley because like my bedroom isn't set up yet. So that is the next thing on the to-do list. But what are we like? I am an independent girly. Like I went to college across the country. I know I can be independent. But when I'm with Ashley, I'm like, I'm just a little baby. I'm just a little sister. And I feel kind of stupid. So I need to get like, <laughs> okay. so I need to like go out and do my own thing every day Because I've only walked out by myself once to get something from like the CVS across the street So for now, I am living life on easy mode. Mommy came to help us. I think tomorrow we're gonna bust down We're gonna bust down We've basically finished unpacking all of Ashley's stuff that arrived, but now the new challenge is my stuff is being delivered today. Look at how much we're struggling right now. This is our living room. Still just Ashley's stuff. Thankfully, we cleared out my bedroom for the most part. Also, another reason why today is super stressful is my boyfriend Pono is visiting for the first time in a couple hours. And like, of course, the movers came on the day where he's flying in. So sorry, Pono, you're immediately going to come and help me unpack. All my stuff is here! A measly amount of products. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I did not have that much. The scary part is that like half of the boxes are labeled trinkets. No! It's just like... You're gonna have to like do also a clean out low key. I already did kind of. Okay, but like, do you need this? That was my graduation lay. This is from Party City. BFFR, this Look is so meaningful. From California to New York. Oh! Kirkland sliced peaches. Okay, that's actually Andrew's. He yeah. forgot to take those. But like... I also shipped toilet paper. I was thinking ahead. Explain this. Bro. Fancy Feast cat food. Explain this. It needs no explanation. Amber kitchen and plushies. Why? Obviously. Cut, 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 cut. Whoa! My little friends. We just simply do not need this guy. Absolutely we do. Amber, yeah. I hate all this stuff. You think I like your stuff? Why is it misshapen like this? This is disgusting. I will gladly take this though. I think you actually already have that. It's good. Yeah, it's already right here. Ew, this is so disgusting. Actually, I literally, your kitchen things were actually grimy. Oh, these are disgusting. Okay, I got this new rice cooker. It's so cute. Punch? No! Bro, this is my cutie baby. And then this is actually gigantic, dirty ass toaster. Hey, it's not my fault. Bro, who did that? My roommates. It wasn't me, I swear. Trader Joe's bag stuck on the toaster. Why does it say fragile, 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 fragile? And random desk bedroom knickknacks and tech stuff. Wow, that really helped me understand what's in the box. Bro, stop it. I don't want it. Fight me right stop now. It. I'm holding scissors. No. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Life is so hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a full-size storage bed because we don't have enough space in this apartment. Oh no, I want to do the honors. Yeah, I'll do the demonstration. Whoa. Boom! Storage bed. So it'll hold all of our luggage and whatnots down there. This is just like Vegas. 
So yeah, we did that. We finished my room. We finished your bed. Yeah, and we're celebrating with some Taco Bell. Nacho fries are back. Uh, whose fries are these? <laughs> Nacho. Nacho fries. <laughs> and right now it's technically my birthday. It's like three in the morning on October 6th. I'm officially 22 to ring in the new year for me. We're gonna watch the MasterChef. So to ring in the new year for me, we're gonna finish Master Chef. Gordon, if your team is watching this, we would do a sponsored video by Gordon Ramsay's Frozen Foods. Yeah, literally, have you guys heard that Gordon Ramsay sells frozen foods now? Comment down below what you think of something like that. Also, we called it like a year ago. We were like, you would think that Gordon Ramsay, well, you would think that Gordon wouldn't do that, but he could given how much content he pushes out. Anyways, sponsor us. And then tomorrow my mom comes into town, we're gonna go to dinner and we're gonna celebrate my birthday together. Also, we ate all the nacho fries without dipping in any of it. Oh. So we gotta stop. Yeah. Alright. Good night! Peace.